Here's something beginners don't realize. Those width and height attributes you used in HTML, professionals almost never rely on them. So the big question is, how do pros control size instead? The answer is CSS width and height properties. In my last video, you learned how HTML uses width and height attributes, especially with images. That was perfect for understanding the basics, but now it's time to level up. Instead of controlling size inside HTML, we move that responsibility to CSS. Why? Because CSS is built for styling, HTML is not. Now here's an important difference you must remember. In HTML, when you write a number for width or height, you don't write PX, HTML already assumes pixels. But in CSS, you must write PX. So in CSS, 200 is invalid, but 200 PX works perfectly. Another thing beginners miss, CSS width and height don't only accept numbers, they also accept the value auto. Auto simply means browser decide the size based on content. If you don't understand auto yet, don't worry, I already have a video that explains it. I covered it in the HTML basics and it works the same way in CSS. You'll find the link in the description. Now here's a big misconception. Width and height are not just for images. Yes, we're applying them to an image here, but you can apply them to any element, even text. For example, let's apply width and height to an H1. At first, you might not see anything happening, so here's the trick professionals use. Add a background color. Let's make it gray. Now you can clearly see the width and height of that heading. This helps you understand how elements actually occupy space on a web page. So whether it's an image, a heading, or a paragraph, CSS width and height work the same way. And one last thing before we move on. Pixels are not the only units CSS understands. There are many more CSS units, and some of them are way more powerful. But don't worry, that's exactly what we're covering in the next lesson. So if you're learning web development step by step using just your smartphone, make sure you follow or subscribe because we're building this knowledge the right way, one clear concept at a time.